Hey everyone, this is Maggie Kirkland. I wanted to record this video for you so I could share what I pack when I travel by air to an event or destination wedding. I travel out of state about 12 to 15 times a year to photograph events, projects, and weddings. Oftentimes I'm working solo on the road, so I try to pack as light as possible. I want to be able to carry everything by myself and be totally self-sufficient in all conditions. The more I travel, the more I know my essentials. I've dialed in this list to be able to capture everything I need related to portraiture, brand photography, weddings, and events while still being able to travel easily. When packing for travel, consider what lighting scenarios you might encounter, what lighting you have to create, how many people you have to work with in any one photo, and the size of venues you're going to be working in. You also need to consider how you're traveling. I had to travel by boat once to a small Mexican fishing village, so the amount of gear I could carry with me and keep dry was really limited. Ask yourself questions like these. Could you find yourself working in low lighting where you have to create it yourself? Will you have to light up a group of 50 or more people at a time? Maybe a photo at a wedding with a big family or coworkers at a fundraiser? Will the venue be small and you need a wide angle lens? Are you gonna travel anywhere by foot and you have to carry everything with you? Do you need to do any portraiture? Before you dive into the details of this list, here's a quick summary of how I pack and why I pack what I do. I love prime lenses. The ones listed here are great for capturing both close up and far away shots. I find I can capture most of what I need at any event on the fly with just those two lenses. Prime lenses are sharp, they're great in low lighting, and they're lightweight. And when you're carrying all your gear around on you, you're going to appreciate a few less pounds in your pack. I pack a main camera body and a spare, just in case anything goes wrong with the main camera. I also pack a lot of spare memory cards because I never want to be in a situation when I'm away from home and I have to format memory cards while on a job. Ideally, as I'm shooting, I'm going to be backing up everything on a portable hard drive at the shoot, and I keep the memory cards with all those photos and videos on them until I'm home and create another backup on a different hard drive. You'll notice I also carry two bags with me. One that will hold all the gear, while a smaller pack is great for on-the-fly shoots when you maybe just want a simple setup and plenty of mobility with your gear. These packs both have waterproof rain covers when needed, so if you find yourself outdoors in rain, snow, or even on a small rocking boat in the ocean, you're going to appreciate having these. Here are my traveling gear essentials for weddings and small events. I primarily shoot with a Nikon D850 camera body. My secondary camera body is a Nikon D750. My favorite lens right now is a Nikon 35mm 1.4. It's lightweight and sharp. It's also wide enough to get most everything you need in a frame when you want to show more of a scene. My second favorite lens is an 85mm 1.8. This lens is also lightweight and sharp and fast. It's great for portraits and creating really soft backgrounds. I can easily carry both of these lenses and two camera bodies on me or in a small camera pack. I format all of my memory cards before a shoot and I pack at least twice as many memory cards as I think I'm going to need. I bring a small solid state hard drive with at least 200 gigs available so I can download and create backups of files while on a job. I bring two memory card holders. One of them has blank memory cards and the other one holds used memory cards. A card reader to read all the different formats and sizes of memory cards. I pack at least three pocket wizards which are the wireless remotes that connect my cameras and flashes. I absolutely love my Holdfast camera harness. Over the years, I've tried all kinds of camera straps and hand straps, and this one is by far the most comfortable and least cumbersome. I love how it allows me to carry two cameras at a time and none of the straps stick into my neck or shoulders when I work. Two SB950 Nikon flashes. One small laptop with editing software. I use Lightroom and Photoshop primarily. I charge all of my camera batteries and bring at least one spare battery per camera. I also bring a camera battery charger. If I'm going to be gone for more than a day, I often need to recharge batteries every night. One large low pro roller camera bag. This thing holds all of my camera gear and my laptop. It has wheels on the bottom so I can avoid carrying that weight on my back. It also converts into a backpack when needed. It has a waterproof cover built in for when the weather changes unexpectedly. This is a smaller low pro camera bag. It's amazing for its intuitive design and ability to carry two cameras, two lenses, and a flash. I bring a smaller pack with me for those times that I'm going to be on foot most of the day and I don't want to carry everything with me. This one also has a waterproof cover that you can pull out. I always pack at least 12 AA batteries for my flashes. One stand to hold a flash. Water and snacks for me and anyone else who might need them along the way. I also pack a diffuser for my camera flash. This guy's really light and he folds up. He fits on the one stand that I pack. 
It helps me create beautiful portraiture on the go. All right, there you have it. This is my go-to photo gear pack list when I travel for events and weddings. I hope this helps you pack efficiently and smart, or it gets you thinking about ways you could be packing best for the types of shoots you're going to be doing. Have fun seeing the world and telling your stories.